if the requirement is like you want day month name and the year so you can use a date function in the transformation or in the add column you can extract the month name of the month from the month function name of the month and you can extract the day and then you can merge it so it becomes like you will do two three steps to achieve that but you can also do that by using this column from examples when you click on this here you have two options column uh, like column from examples from all columns no i don't want to select all columns i want only from this selected column so go and select the from selection from selection so it will tick only one column that is selected no other column is selected so now what you want from this column you can start writing it so this is the only one function in power query where you can get a freedom to write okay so here i'll start writing 01 i want a hyphen and i want the month name so i'll write january and hyphen 2014 okay so it is not detected let me write in the second this is also same i'll write 01 again january and 2014 let me write third yeah it is showing me all january january but that is not true so third should be 01 i'll edit it is june right it is june so it has i am teaching power bi i am teaching power query so let me come yeah now i think it is detected it is showing me june 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 here it is showing me december december march june at the end it is june it is february beautiful let me click on okay yeah so it has automatically with only two three uh, like two three rows i have typed everything like all 700 rows have been automatically printed so this is how the column from example works you can write it you can use it for the date data type you can use it for the string data type you can use it for integer data type or multiplication for addition anything anything you can use this column from example i hope you understood this thank you guys thank you for watching keep learning so one repeat